To grow and prosper, Oklahoma has got to be more competitive, competitive regionally and competitive nationally. Every year, the State Chamber of Oklahoma is going to be researching and bringing policies to the state capital that make us more competitive in a variety of areas. But the key metrics that we're going to be following are always going to be measurable. Year after year, we will work hard to keep Oklahoma businesses moving forward and up the ladder. In 2023, Oklahoma business leaders have identified key areas in serious need of improvement. We're talking workforce and talent development and tax competitiveness. We spent countless hours diving deep in the issue, trying to understand what are the causes of Oklahoma's workforce challenges and what are the solutions. In 2023, the State Chamber will advocate for aligned workforce development systems that are effective, agile, and accountable while consistently producing a competitive world-class workforce. The Chamber will start by getting more Oklahomans off the sidelines and back to work. One way to do this is through expanding child care options. Oklahoma has a child care crunch and until we address it, we definitely will never see any resolve to our workforce crisis. We're looking specifically at tax credits for businesses who provide on-site child care facilities for their workers, who help subsidize some of their child care costs for, for employees, and then also providing facility space for public school preschools to come into their business. We will advocate for better access to training programs for Oklahomans looking for work and eliminate barriers for in-demand positions. We're 100,000 truck drivers short in our nation, right? So obviously that affects Oklahoma because we're, we do a lot of trucking through Oklahoma CDL trainings. It's so hard to get one because the, the processes that, that, that in, our, in our state aren't working. It's just, it's not for the people. They, they'll go stand in line for four hours. The importance is that we can change not just a few lives, we can change literally thousands just in our state with just removing this barrier. But we won't just focus on issues that keep people from entering the workforce today. We'll also have long-term goals to fix how workforce and education systems in Oklahoma are aligned and collaborate to make sure they're turning out as many career-ready Oklahomans as possible. We're going to be focused on things that we know are working. We want to highlight them, promote them, and encourage more of it. But when they're doing something that we know hits metrics and works, they're incentivized to do more of it. We need to be very specific about how we tailor the education system to produce the types of people and the types of skill sets that we need. Now all those areas of focus can be achieved, but in order to ensure our workforce systems become the change agents needed to produce a better workforce, we need accountability. What we realized was there was nobody in charge. Nobody walked in every day, and their job was to coordinate the workforce entities of the state. That's gonna change this year. In order for Oklahoma to be the best place for companies to do business, we need the workforce to be there. But we also need a business environment where companies want to do business. That's where taxes come into play. The numbers bear that Oklahoma is not where it needs to be on the national business competitive landscape. The State Chamber's research indicates that fixing Oklahoma's tax code could be a way to move Oklahoma up the rankings. A pro-growth tax strategy for Oklahoma is incredibly important. What we do know is that those states who have invested in pro-growth tax strategies have done much better economically than those who have not. It draws investment from uh, outside of your state, into your state, it draws in migration. It's the foundation to create a bold and business friendly environment in your state. Specifically, we will advocate for simplifying and reducing individual income taxes. We will also push to modernize business taxes through the elimination of archaic rules and formulas that hold back growth. It's not just about cutting taxes. It's about the structure being competitive so our overall environment is pro-business and pro-Oklahoma. Doing so is going to spur capital investment and economic growth. And so in order for us to have the prosperity we want, we gotta make sure that every year we're focused on key metrics of making Oklahoma more competitive. Whether that's workforce, taxes, you name it, we've gotta be competitive in it to, in order to have the kind of economy that's gonna grow and make Oklahoma businesses prosper and Oklahoma families prosper as well.